everybody, I am Mole at once, and this is Shadows Over Loathing once again. In the last episode, we came to this house in search of a meteorite, but everything seems to be all worm holy. Everywhere I go, I get sucked into a different room. This is different. These rocks weren't here before. Though it. M ah, get that colossal thing out of my way. I'm trying to read the thing about the rocks! It was, though it may be convenient to have a shortcut to the kitchen, taking it has ruined your appetite. Throw a rock. There we go. And that broke something in there. Okay. Hey, that did break the light. Now we can get past there. Okay, that's how it is. Despite the disarray, this really is a magnificent foyer designed if you're... Designed, if you're not mistaken, in the style of architect David S. Foyer. Good for him. A used sheet of memo paper is tucked under the phone. Someone has written the name and telephone number of the local dog pound, but someone else has crossed that last part out and put dad pound. Well, let's call us the dad pound. It's probably not a real place. It is. Call it. The receiver falls apart in your hand, and with it, your hopes of speaking to a dad pound. And I got me a fuse. This probably isn't good for the value of the house. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine it is. Now, what's going on up here? That door's locked. There's a ladder that I can't seem to reach. It's just out of reach. They say a man's reach should exceed his grasp, but that's not helpful advice when it comes to ladders. Grab it. Eh. Can't make it. Damn, the ladder's just too high up. Perhaps you double-jumped, but no. No, it's never even been done. It can't be done. Damn, I need a lot of muscle, moxie, and mysticality for, for that. Double-jump? You ask too much. That's impossible. Perhaps we might find enough power to go double-jumping. Where is this taking me? The primary bedroom? Something is falling infinitely. And this dresser seems to be all tied up. And I'm not moxie-ish enough. What about this music box? You stop that music. Okay, I got a spooky music box. Good for me. All the desk drawers disappeared along with the mole rosses. All the drawers but one. And they got five meat in there. And what appears to be an unfinished letter to a men's magazine. Dear editors, I write to inquire what advice you possess on maintaining a healthy marriage when the dog is too big. Our dog is becoming larger by the day, which may require us to relinquish the marital bedroom so that the hound might have a home appropriate to his size. My wife considers this suggestion very strange and bah, it ends there. Well, hello mirror. Hi, Garplot. Bye, Garplot. I'm not changing my face. This must be the meteorite and the source of all this wormhole trouble. Best not get too close. You don't have time to get caught in an infinite loop of falling between two wormholes. And I could return the music box. Well, grab that meteor. The sheer suction of generated by this perpetual wormhole loop would rip your hand off in a second. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. I'm strong! And I hurt my hand. You were right, your hand was not literally ripped off, just maimed. Consider it a moral victory, although you still don't have the meteor, right? Throw a rock at it! There we go. Now there's a rock falling in there. Anything else I can do? Yep, it's the meteor. There's a rock in there, too, now. Shoot it with a gun! Bang! Did I miss? I probably didn't. Grab the rock! The sheer suction, yeah, is perpetuated, already seared your hand once, and you don't need another rock. Okay, but do it, though. Another hand injury! <laughs> yep. We'll have to worry about that later. So, yeah, I can't really do nothing with that. I need a way to stop the meteorite from falling infinitely, and I also need to uninjure my hand that I've injured twice now, because I'm pretty sure that reduces my muscle. And I went and did it anyway, because I'm a big old dingus. Yeah, there's that wind-up. My hand injuries are over here. Okay, the second hand injury only reduces moxie. That I can live with. I can live with less moxie. And what about this light? Can I break it? There's an ear of corn. Yeah, we read that already. Hmm. Whoop, I'm being sucked away. So, yep, this is the dining room. So then, the lamp. Turn you back on. 
don't know why I would, but I did. Anyway, turn you back off. No more of you sucked away into the bathroom. But perhaps I could throw a rock through the... Wait, what's this thing? The name is sewn on this knapsack, little Honus Molross. What you got? A straw doll, balloon to enormous proportions. It's too large to extract from the knapsack. I hear you making a lot of excuses and a lot of not giving me the friggin' thing I asked you to give me. And if I could just... Mm, I just... So what about... Yeah, there's that. Maybe if I turn the lamp back on, I didn't fucking god damn it I strayed too close to the thingy so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go in here and we're gonna slip over here and turn the damn lamp back on because now that that's happened I can probably it's not giving me an option to throw anything into that wormhole damn that is annoying Fine, I'll get sucked into the bathroom, and from here, I'll just make my way into this one, because that puts me here, and then through this door, I'm on this side now, and yeah, that ain't giving me an option to check for messages, yeah, I read that already, well, back into the bathroom in which I can do nothing, hmm. The game nears its end, but it is not over, and the fate of the horsey is yet to be written. Can I do anything with the bookshelf? Nope. It's too close to the wormhole. I get sucked in. There's gotta be a way. A way through this mess of wormholes and shit. I will find it. Or I'll just keep on blundering through different wormholes, and then eventually something will happen. Maybe. Possibly. What if I put the music box back? Hold on, what? Can I actually do something? Spooky music box from a spooky house. Yeah, let's put it back and maybe the music box will just... At least, ooh, did I see see this before? Five meat, read a card. Robert F. Cameron, agent, best rates for your house. Toby Goose Broker, sell your property today. Hubert Hoop, no fancy real estate agent, just a common sense man, abandon your house. Well then, not a lot of help there. Maybe I can talk to you for a little more information. That house is Swiss cheesed with wormholes. I don't think they're 100% correct. You're 100% correct in your observation. To my eye, those holes couldn't have been made by a worm. You know, it's not really horrible in there. Just a little disorganized. But disorganization has borne has borne some of the world's greatest horrors. Werewolves, for instance. Really, werewolves? Exactly, werewolves. If we were organized, we would know where the wolves were and have no reason to fear them. Do you see my point? Yes, yes I do. Now then... Uh, you know... Oscal Oskaloosa Barnhill? No, I don't believe I surveyed her. Well, good for you then. Let's poke around the back here. Yeah, that wormhole's too high. I can't throw a friggin' thing in it. There's a pig in the pot. Are you a big pig or a little pig? Snarf. Well, you keep on snarfing, you little pot pig. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. I can't do anything upstairs that I'm aware of. I poked around every inch up there, and there's just nothing. Nothing but a ladder that is beyond my grabby little hands. And then there's you the lamp turn it off I could turn it back on but I blundered into the damn wormhole again oh I can close the damn shutters fucking duh and what about this window nope nothing I can do there but yeah there's still nothing I can do about that but now that the shutters are closed give me that damn music box I tire of your music boxiness 
so I closed those shutters. Maybe that does something for me that I can figure out in a moment. There's just a lot of unknown in here. Things I can't quite figure out. But if I could break this damn light here, that would be great, but it's just not giving me any options to do so. These light-powered wormholes just eating me and my pants and everything else. And there's that knapsack I can't do nothing with because that doll just balloons to be too much to be taken. It's still wedged up inside the knapsack. And that door's still locked. And I can't double jump because I ain't got all the necessary shenanigans. And not opening no shutters. That just... Yeah. Nip. Yeah, let me through this damn door. If only this door wasn't locked, then maybe, just maybe, something would happen. I... It just... It's just too much weird and all the portals leading to every different which way except for the way I want to go. Yep, through the table portal and back in here. Damn. Just damn. A lot of shenanigans. Can't reach you. Wormhole dog around the front of the house. And the... Uh, we found a noodle in that and care to survey the rest of the region? Yeah, that's... It's getting to be annoying. Let's go to the old ham mill. We've wasted enough time there. Burbling ooze later. That that ooze can wait. A vast fallow field. The wind blows, yet the mill stands still. Well, ooh, there's a pocket of ghostly goo. Shadow mead. And you, sir, are a windmill. Clock. The clock has stopped, perhaps in solidarity with the windmill. It's hands. It's 6.07. What's going on in here? The windmill is set up to make flour, but it hasn't done so for some time. Lumps of the last batch lie in the wooden basin, gathering dust and a real stank. Hello? However long this ground flower has been sitting here, it's too long. It smells rancid and appears to have become a new home for bugs. Check out these bugs! A baker's dozen of long-snouted bugs burrow busily in and out of the flower. They seem hard at work. How far gone must the, this flower be for it to not only have attracted bugs, but for those bugs who have given themselves a project? Eat it! It's not good flour. Even if it was, you shouldn't really eat flour on its own. I said eat it! You tear into the old flour with your teeth. It explodes in your mouth, and when you do something... And when you do something hard, it hard and cold slides da right down your throat. Hard to say what it m was. Maybe not something you want in your stomach, but it doesn't matter. It's in there now. Okay. I can sniff the flour if I had some stench armor, and uh, what is, what's that effect I got out of you. Ah, I lost AP from that. Damn. Probably shouldn't have been eating old flour. Anyway, I could probably see about anything that might give me some stench armor. That gives me hot armor if I spray it on my pants. Sure, put it on my gator skin pants. Some spray on asbestos can't go wrong with that now, can ya? Oh ho, I might just have. Yeah, that'll give me some stench army pate de toilet. Yep, goodbye, dog star. I don't need your f effect anymore. You eat the heavily perfumed duck liver. It freshens your breath, even as it makes your breath smell like liver. A study in contradictions. Now I can sniff that flower. Sniff, sniff. Oof, that flower's fragrance has two notes, bad and worse, but you've let it in, and once in the dank and fetid odor, once the dank and fetid odor is at home in your nose, it commences to make all sorts of trouble. You'll need a good nasal wash to rid yourself of this olfactory vampire. Well, that didn't do me any good, now did it? Hey, there's a ladder here. 
The steady winds sweep through the empty mill, its old wooden boards bending and bowing in reply. What's wrong with this windmill, then? If there's enough wind to make it spin, something must be the matter here. But what? Gunked up main shaft, no doubt. Yeah, that's probably it. Can I go up the ladder? See about ungunking that main shaft? That's a main shaft if ever I've seen one. Someone's kicked this safe over and bashed its lock in with a hammer. It's not a pretty sight, but the safe knew the risks when it took up the job. Okay, if we can crack you. We ain't got no crowbar or sledgehammer to go busting it in. <laughs> Magic word, kick the safe, crack it. Ironically, the safe cannot be cracked because its lock has been literally cracked into pieces with a hammer. Well, that's not what irony means. Let's move on. Kick it. I got the muscle. Nuts. Kicking it didn't work. Say the magic word. Which one? Abracadabra. Maybe if I were to... Damn. I don't have a match to set it on fire with either. What about the books? Reading material must get lonely working on a windmill. Years of hay and mourning. A people's history on, of the skeleton roads. Anna and two autumns. What did the bank banker say? The immigrant wife. Hey, there's something. Whoops, a pamphlet slipped out from between the books. NFSC Directive 17-2. What else? We knew what the horses wanted. The fishing bridge, the borders of Bright Town, our founding maids, strange streets, inventing the horn, years of hay and morning. Okay, it's starting to loop around. What's this do? So... All right. Just information that I don't feel like reading. I've already done enough reading. My jaw's starting to feel all weird from all the flapping I be doing, talking and stuff. But is that all that's here? Just that windmill? Nothing else. Seems like nothing else. Well, fine. What else could we do? We can't get a hold of that meteorite for the friggin... Okay, we got some shit. A pack of hulking devils crest the horizon, surfing the back of a giant inflatable rat. Some jumpy little fellers hop up and down on the balloon rat's nose. Hey, fat cat, devils don't work for free. You summon, you pay. Huh? I didn't summon you. And who are you calling fat cat? Be your name Hellstrom or Joff Regal McDoo, someone's gotta give these devils their due. Nah, how about I violence you instead? Okay, them devils are a little bit bigger than I expected, but I can still take them. And you... I'm not... I just... Fuck it, start shooting! Them bullets will do us good if they hit our enemies. Ah, you hit my shield. And you did no damage. I got a lot of hot armor going on for me. And you, you want to kill my doe baby? You can't kill my doe baby. He's mine. Only I get to kill my doe baby. And you suck on my ball. It's always the ball. It goes in your mouth. And it feel good in there. And now you can choke on my stick. Well, these devils shouldn't have been deblin. Yeesh. Stomp on the ground. Ow. I am feeling pain and suffering. Well, start shooting. It's always the solution is to shoot your gun and... You are just spraying fire everywhere all willy-nilly. Why are you hitting everyone, like, more than just once? Ow, fire. I am on fire and it hurts. So yeah, you need to die faster rather than sooner. And you can die from this ball here, you devil forker. And that big boy there. Yeah, he's gonna live one more round, but you, sir, are not. That's enough out of you hitting everyone so many times like that. Ouch. Well, it's fine. I'm alive. And you, sir, soon will not be eat balls, eat devil, eat the fucking gator stick, you devil stomper boy. There, stomp on that. You shouldn't have stomped in the shit you stepped in. Ooh, molten brass knuckles. That sounds like a strength weapon. That'll teach them a lesson about demanding fair compensation for their labor. Wait, no, that's not a good lesson. Tell them to keep it up. Yeah, keep up doing what you're doing. Just don't extort money from the wrong person. That's all. These knuckles were forged in Hell's famous city of brass, where the candles burn at three ends. Muscle plus hot plus six and hot damage. And I've got the gator stick, which does what now? That's stench damage, I know. And where's my damn weapons? So that's 
muscle plus five, muscle plus six, and causes on fire. But this also causes bleeding and poison because of the stuff I put on it. And, oh, the chunk of lead. I could stick that on anything. So, yeah, you take a chunk of lead. Yeah, leaded brass knuckles. That are also molten, because why wouldn't they be? And that also adds damage to the thing. So, yeah. Hefty molten brass knuckles get sharpened! And can I stick... Oh, it already has lead on it. Can't put even more le lead on a already leaded thing. Well, fine. What about, uh... You there. You might have some need for something. What kind of favor are you looking for? I'm desperately thirsty and need something specific. A glass of milk. Milk. A charming young man named Milkman Stan used to deliver the best milk in the country, but he's vanished mysteriously. With the last, the last anyone saw him, he was making delivery to the Drexel place. Could you find him for me? But please. Yeah, sure. I'll go to the Drexel stead and find your milkman. Bring back a glass of milk when you find him, okay, sweetheart? Yeah, I'll do that. All right. You were, you're gonna get your milk over here at the Drexelstead and more devils, of course. Hark, thou may think our countenance quite devilish, Sarah, but be assured our band are lovers, not fighters, lovers of the theater. Yea, we are an acting troupe trying to make a name for ourselves in thy realm. An expensive endeavor, alas, we find ourselves in need of vulgar coin. Verily, so pay up before we pound thee. So, no. You ain't getting my damn money and there's a gangster here to help me. Well, Molly, you know the drill. Start shooting into the crowd. It always works. And, ow, my shield. And yeah, you shrieky bastard, you're just buffing people. So who do I want to kill first? I can hit you for 26 hot damage, but yeah, that's right. These guys are devils. They'd be resistant to hot damage. Fudge. Should have considered that when I switched to the Molten Brass Knuckles, but I wasn't expecting to immediately encounter devils again. And yet here we are in this exact situation. Well, whatever. We'll see what happens. Nice shot there, buddy. Oof. And this guy just whipping fireballs at everybody. And he's gonna gore my buddy. Yep, gored him with his horn. Shit, this is looking less good by the minute. So, what about you? Yeah, you can die from a ball. And then the ball throwy guy down here. He's not gonna survive a nice deck to the schnoz. There you go. There's still three of yous. But I'll be fine. I got plenty of hot armor. Oh no, there goes my Gurglu. It's just me now against three big old devils. Youch. So then. Hmm. You're gonna hit me for 14. You're gonna hit me for three. You're also gonna hit me for 14. And I got something that'll fix up my pain. No longer on fire. So as for... You, you can get the ball. And then this guy down here can get punched out of existence. We can still pull this off. There you go. And stompity wompity, I'm still alive. There's a horn in my chest. It doesn't feel good. But I got you now. These annoying sons of bitches out here practicing their theater. They should have thought about that before they tried to extort me like that. The devils lick their wounds. Only one of them has a wound. They all take turns. Well, devil skin hat band, devil egg, another molten brass knuckles and some billowy devil pants. Sweet. That's an interesting development for somebody's house. Anyway, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. What about this? I could put some cold heart armor on my hat. It already has a hat band. Damn, I can't put double hat bands on there. Herm. Well, fine. And you, you friggin'. Well, this is. Yeah. We're looking for a milkman in this mess, and that's gonna have to wait until the next episode, because I'm all of the time for this one. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one, y'all.